Hello to all my wonderful ladies and men, if there are any, that tune in and uh, put up with watching me on a regular basis. I thought today I would do something a little bit novel, actually. I thought, what's in your holiday bag? It's going to be one of those. I'm going to do a bit of a fun one. Um, don't worry, I'm not on about the whole luggage. All my suitcases, taking out each and every piece of uh, clothing that I take on holiday. I'm on about your essentials, the things I take, the things that I like to take on holiday and that I always make sure I have in my luggage bag. So now the holiday season is upon us and the sun is shining eventually in the UK. What do I have in my bag? Let's take a little look over here. Now, start off, sun cream. That is an essential. I make sure all of the time, obviously because I'm not getting any younger, and I've got to look after my skin, and I do like to take the sun. I mean, I'm not somebody, I'm not going to put a full body suit on like Madonna does, but just to have that nice golden California tan is what I like. So, one of my firm favourites at the moment, it's called Ultra Sun Sports. It is really a brilliant. I use Factor 30 when I first go on holiday, which is my Nivea. I've used this for years. Um, Amber Solera I've tried. Um, another one of my firm favourites, which I've actually run out of and I haven't got at the moment, is called P20. That is a sun cream that you put on um, an hour before you go into the sun and it actually adheres to your skin so that you haven't got to worry too much about topping it up too frequently but obviously after you swim you still have to you know be a little bit cautious. Nivea is my firm favourite. I've tried all of them but I always go back to my Nivea. Um, so that's my Nivea, that's my sun cream and Ultra Sun uh, because it is it has been put together for sports people you can wear it and when you sweat it actually doesn't come off. So this is also a brilliant, brilliant one. So after the sun cream, we go for the after sun. That's another one in my bag. I've got my, my ultra sun after sun. I've got my other after sun that I love. It's not actually a lotion. This is brilliant. It is called Salton Intensely Moisturizing After Sun. It's shea butter and almond oil. And you put it on it's not greasy, but it's got that lovely hydrated feeling. However, I do keep my base tan for a long time because one, I believe in using a high factor to sun tan, and that doesn't scorch your skin. It is the moisturizing after. Even when I'm not tanned, I put after sun on. So I like to look after my skin. I like to moisturize after every shower and every bath. Um, and it keeps your skin hydrated and it looks after your tan, so that's my other product. Now, let's get back down to the nitty gritty girls. Now, hair, you got on it, and hats. Let's just do a little quickie on that. These are my choice of hats. I've actually reverted back to wearing a little white baseball cap or a little floppy number. But let's talk about that the better, really. Um, yeah, I always have a hat or two. I always take a hat on holiday. I don't like to be in the outdoor sun um, if my head's not covered because I tend to get a headache now. And, and I would encourage all of you to do that because it makes your day in the sun much more comfortable and it does look after your hair as well. Although, my hair. I've got a really lovely friend called Joanna that's introduced me to this amazing range called Aveda. It's all plant extracts um, and I know it's not cheap and she was very generous, she bought it for me for my birthday but I've hung on to this and I use it so sparingly. You put a tiny little bit of serum into your hand and you run it in the ends. Um, during the day if you're on holiday and you're in and out of the swimming pool and you want to keep your hair protected, brilliant one. It keeps your hair so soft and manageable and prevents split ends uh, in the sun and damaging your hair colour as well. 
Then we've got the argan oil, Moroccan argan oil, which is also another fantastic product that I use um, in my hair. If I'm in and out of the sea or I'm in and out of the swimming pool, just a little tiny bit. I don't put it through the top, either products, just in the bottom where the sun and the chlorine and the salt is its harshest. So if you want to keep those locks looking luscious, girls, look after your hair on holiday. That's another two items in my bag. I have got two products by a brand called Sizzly. And as you can see, that has had the life squeezed out of it. It is called Black Rose Cream Mask. And it is so hydrating. Your skin just feels like silk afterwards. So if I've been in the sun all day long and, um, you know, I'm going to go out of an evening or whatever, and even if I'm not, I do it at home even sometimes. I've got no makeup on, cleanse my face. You put that on and you leave it on your skin for up to 10 minutes. And it literally is absorbed. And I've got the eye mask as well. So if any of you get really tired eyes and you're looking for something apart from your normal eye cream, to uh, moisturise and hydrate your eyes. This is fantastic. Sizzly again, look, I know these products are not cheap, but the lifespan of them is amazing because you use it sparingly. They are designed um, to look after your skin and your eye skin. And look, that's my husband outside. He's looking after the inside of his car, as you can see. He doesn't know he's on camera, but hey, <laughs> I can just continue. Sizzly, eye mask, face mask, amazing after having been in the sun and giving your skin a lovely hydrated feel. That's another two I can I put in my bag. Right, what else we got? Now, I always, always take with me my aloe vera eye makeup remover pads. Um, they are fantastic. They're very gentle on the eyes with aloe vera in them because obviously they look after your skin as well. So convenient. Take it off, sling it in a bin. Obviously not on the floor. Look after the environment. That's another one of my holiday bag little goodies that I bring with me. What else does she have? I feel like Aladdin. Let's see, shall we? My Dermalogica face cleanser. Now, I'm showing you the big pot, but I've got a small little travel pot that my daughter pinched, taken, nicked from her ma. Um, she's always going down my cosmetic bag. So the travel size Dermalogica is brilliant. I'm somebody that likes to cleanse their face with water. It is a fa fabulous brand. I cleanse with that every single evening. And it's got like a pH balance and it's your skin is never dry after you've used it. I recommend that as well. Travel plug. Can't do without one of those in Europe. We have a different uh, three pin setup, as you all know, girls and boys. And that is what the European adapter looks like. Always remember to take one of those. Don't be caught short because if you're taking your own hair dryer, or shaver or whatever, not that I take a shaver, <laughs> um, you can adapt it in there, job done, everyone's happy, don't laugh now, I always take a little small portable sewing kit, because you never know if a button's going to fall off, that's always a good one, you're all thinking she's a sad <laughs> honestly I don't embroider, I do have fun, what else have I got? Let us see. Okay. Body mist. My wonderful friend Mel bought me this for Christmas. It is a body mist. I've got another one actually, but I'm using this one. Do you know why? Because it's Victoria's Secrets. But Champneys do one as well. Basically, you spray it on when you're going out in the evening on your arms and your legs, parts of your body that you want to have a little sheen and to emphasise that newly caught suntan. I always have one or t'other in my bag, but my Victoria's Secrets one is a little bit special to Mel. Face mist. This is something that my sister Louise has always bought because she's got much more sensitive skin than me. 
And if she's in and out of the sea or in and out of the swimming pool, the chlorine can make your skin tight, can't it? So she is always swarmed by these face mists. So I've got one. You spray it on your face and your chest, lay there, and it's back to tanning. And you're refreshed instantly. So that's another little thing I have in my bag. And I go nowhere without my nipple covers. I've spoke to you about these before. Silicone. Let me show you what they look like. They're like that. They actually feel like skin. And they are brilliant under your bikini. If you've got a light colour bikini, white, lemon, coral, whatever. Um, and you want a little bit of discretion whilst you're wearing them, coming out of the water. These are brilliant. But always take my Blistex. Always, always, always. Um, it's very important to have a lip balm. It is for me. Um, and it's something that I never forget uh, because the worst thing I can have is burning my mouth and then you get a cold sore or a blister and it's not very nice. Another fantastic little thing that I've been in my holiday bag. I've got two of them actually. I've got this little pretty pink one and I've got a silver one. They are portable perfume capsules. Is it the bottom of it? There's like a, It's like airtight, but when you take the lid off of your perfume, you pump it and then it fills it up. If you're going for a week and you've got two of those, job done, brilliant. Another really brilliant, handy little thing that I have in my bag. What else is in there? Okay, something for inside the body and not outside. Alkalizing salts, my best friend. And we have that right at the top of our what we're going to bring uh, in our holiday bag. Alkalizing salts. Um, eradicate any acid buildup caused by rich food, alcohol, um, sweating from taking the sun. Um, it literally, it's such a brilliant um, supplement to have. There's no calories in it, it's just a neutraliser um, to enable your system to be more pH balanced without acid in it. It's amazing for a hangover. I have one after I've been in the sun or after I've had a skin fall. You feel like you need a little bit of an oomph and that's as a result of, you know, dehydration and laying down and sweating and what have you. That is always in my what I'm going to take. I wanted to introduce you to a new little product that I found uh, just quickly before I go now. Um, it's by Murad, M-U-R-A-D. Is a new Rapid Collagen Infusion for Lips. Now, Murad, who are a leading um, cosmetic brand, were kind of hounded by a lot of their customers. So, look, I've been using it for about a week and a half now. You put it over your mouth, after about a minute, you put your lipstick on, and honestly, there's none of that tingly, like you've just had a chilli. It's not that. It is a proper you know, serum, and it, it really smooth and kind of plumps out um, any fine lines that you might have around the outside of your mouth, so <laughs> injections will have to wait, but I'm loving it, really, I'm noticing how much more moisturised and smooth uh, my lips feel, and obviously um, when I'm putting my lipstick on, I'm getting a much more of a kind of like... Um, a full effect, whether it's psychological or not, I don't know, but it cost me 22 British pounds. And uh, you can reapply it during the course of the day um, to retain that look. So that's my new little product, which I'm really happy with. But anyway, I hope, girls, that you've ha enjoyed having a little rummage around in my holiday bag. It would be really lovely if you could, you know, even subscribe to the channel. I know I have had some new subscribers, and thank you so much because like I've said before I really do love doing this and um, it just enables you to know when I've got a new upload and I'll tell you what else girls it'd be really lovely go and visit my uh, Facebook page um, the midlife conversation or check out my Instagram which is uh, midlife convo so um, I want to say thank you again have a wonderful week and until next time